name is Angustia Flores. In this film, we will explore the life of cultural dancing on Guam. We aim to discover its introduction, how it has evolved throughout the years, and how it has become a part of our local culture. All the tomorrow say this word, and they say it many different ways. That when you meet a chamorita girl, you softly say, hey, of a day. And if you ever need a native friend, or a helping hand along the way, where a friendly smile and talk some more. Cultural dance can be traced back to the Frasini expedition. Uh, the main purpose was for entertainment and now it can be seen in the tourism industries. You can find many different groups performing at the Chamorro Village Night Market, held every Wednesday night reciting dances from many islands such as Tahiti, Samoa, Hawaii, and Guam. While performances can be found at almost every hotel that offers dinner shows to their guests. Today, culture dance is not just a part of entertainment, it has become a part of Guam's culture. The significance of cultural dancing identifies uh, the individual as to their ethnic or uh, origins, their cultural heritage, their traditions, their, their, what makes them unique in this world. And that's the significance of cultural dance. We were descendants of Austronesian speaking. Uh, tribes of Formosa, so I would say that, that uh, the migration, the migration of the Austronesian speaking people uh, that populated Southeast Asia and into the Pacific Ocean uh, were probably the, the uh, creators of some of the, the existing dances now, but through evolution and migration and uh, influences from outside from different uh, parts of the world, adaptation to introduce uh, uh, customs were, were incorporated into the into the people's lives which normally alters the origins of what they began 4,000 years ago. It establishes that we existed 4,000 years ago and not just uh, beginning in the 1800s when religion and Spanish influence and the American and Japanese came in. It established our our existence here on the Mariana Islands. My name is Jermaine Mendiola and I'm from the village of Santa Rita. I dance for the group of uh, Tautana. The reason why I joined is because I feel as a, a, one of the youth, our culture is dying within my, my generation. I don't see people um, going around you know, living our culture. So I want to be a part of that one person, a part of those people who, who try to bring back our culture from ancient times, ancient doings, and are living it today. I'm a practitioner now. I've grown into it, and I love it. And I hope to become a teacher, a more teacher, um, teaching the kids how to sing, dance, chant, and everything. I am Ryan. So, and I dance for Tao Tao Tanu. 
I believe that we should promote and perpetuate our culture as much as we can and as possible. My name is Daniel Stone. And you're a dancer. Uh, and I dance for Netflix as well. We dance to tell stories of our people, you know, so of course there's that. We're sharing our we're sharing our island plus we're sharing what we know in our language through our dances and when we go out to like Anywhere off island or even just here, we're we're showing our culture to these people, and who knows? Maybe like just after our show, they might want to know what were they trying to tell me. They might try and go and take a language course or something. Hi, my name's Huluna Sands. I'm 18, and I'm from the village of Zotnia. My dance instructor, Mr. Vince Rages, um, he really inspired me to be in the dance group because. The dance group that I was in, or that I'm still in, in that Nagef Pogba, we had to audition for the part and he chose me out of like a hundred students to be in the group. So I guess he's what, he's the one that motivates me to stay in the group. Cultural dance is important because it's more than just dancing just for fun. It's like, you do it to promote your culture, you do it to tell a story, and you do it to keep your culture and history alive. Like, we're not just dancing and doing whatever, we're like, telling the audience who we are and where we came from. And for me, it's a way that I contribute to keeping my culture alive. Since its introduction, we've seen how cultural dancing has developed on Guam, how it has become not only a part of entertainment, but a part of keeping our culture alive. Thank you all for watching.